It's changed the banking landscape though, right? I think we can always do better. And the, perp and the hope is that some of these players who come in with uh, very advanced uh, data analytics capabilities can use, do credit evaluation, uh, loan extension, in a much cheaper and faster way than traditional banks would do. We see some of these players uh, becoming uh, regionally important. And uh, I think looking ahead, we want to, Singapore wants to be a base for these players as they grow in the region. And uh, that uh, means anchoring them here at a, their early stage of their development and uh, allowing them access to the domestic banking market. Given all these developments, do you envisage a time when there needs to be consolidation within the banking industry because if you recall what Lee Kuan Yew said, the founding father of Singapore, mm -hmm. he said that even three banks are too many for mm -hmm. the Lion City. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your views now as you sit here talking about uh, digital banks? Um, not clear to me that uh, we are aiming necessarily for consolidation. If some consolidation happens, uh, um, may not be an entirely bad thing, but one needs to be also mindful of a concentration risk. Um, three banks is not too many, uh, <laughs> so we've quite a, uh, a diverse landscape. It's not clear to me that uh, we're going to be able. We need to see a lot more consolidation. What we are more likely to see, and what we like to see, are interesting joint ventures uh, and combinations between traditional financial services and non-financial non players. That really harnesses and synergizes, rather than consolidation on its own, which is mostly about cutting cost, um, which I'm not sure is the, is the paramount need for now. Uh, and as a prudential regulator, I think uh, no regulator would like to see an overly concentrated banking sector that just, um, that just concentrates risk too much in, in a few players. And I think having some diversity uh, in the banking landscape is not a bad thing.